So you've come out to your MX-5 on a cold winter's day and noticed your battery is completely dead and you need a replacement. And worst of all, the pop-ups don't go up and down. And after looking online and realizing the original battery is actually 270 pound, you start looking for other options. So this is how I found the battery when I bought the car. This is definitely the wrong battery. As you can see, it doesn't meet the battery stay. The battery tie down isn't the original one. It's far too long and it's installed in the wrong place. It should actually be hooked in this hole here. And the battery breathers aren't even attached to the battery. These should be right in here somewhere. So completely the wrong battery, but I guess it does fit and work. But from experience, these 057s are quite expensive. A nice cheap common battery is actually an 063. I've purchased this one as it's a platinum and it comes with a five year warranty. And it was just over 70 quid. A huge 200 pound difference between the original battery and a platinum 063. Now this 063 will not fit with these supports and these tie downs. And an MOT requirement is for the battery to be secure. But don't worry, there is a solution to save you 200 pound on buying a new battery. And that is an 063 battery tie down kit from G19 Engineering. I'll leave a link to this in the description below. This simple 063 tie down kit is gonna save you a hell of a lot of money and it's gonna stop one other common problem. On the original battery tie down, this battery tie actually likes to snap and then the battery wiggles around in the boot. You go over bumps, the battery goes up and down and really commonly this rear arch likes to dent from the inside out and completely ruin all your paintwork i mean mine's already ruined but i really don't want a battery flying about so this tie down kit is really strong and secure and is pretty much going to eliminate all of those problems and save you money so let's get ripping this battery out to make life easier i'm going to remove the spare wheel so i've got a bit more room to play Now we can start removing the battery. If you had the original battery in, you'd want to take these breathers off first, but they're not connected to this battery anyway. And then you can remove this battery support here. I will just warn you, these two bolts, along with these two bolts here, probably will snap. Especially if your boot is full of water, like mine was before I renewed the seals on the rear lights. Now, usually on this battery tie down, you would have a wing nut right up here. Mine's actually all the way up there. So remove that tie down. Usually it would then unhook out of this hole here, but mine's wedged underneath here. And then remove this bracket. You should then be able to slide the battery out slightly and remove the top tie down. As you can see, there's a little hook that goes into the chassis back there. Now we can disconnect our terminals. If you disconnect the positive first, you should then be able to slide the battery out further to gain access to the negative. Now go and weigh this battery in. With the battery and all the tie down assembly out of the way, now is a really good time to clean any of this up of rust or moisture and repair any bolts or threads that have snapped while removing the battery. I've actually already installed the G19 kit and all four bolts snapped. So I've drilled them out and nutserted them, which means I'm ready to install the 063 battery with the G19 battery tie down. Before installing the battery, we need to put the tie down clamp on. This uses two of the original holes already in the chassis. Grab your two 13 mil bolts and you can put them in the access hole from behind. And then hold the bolts from the back and put the bracket on with the bolts facing upwards. And secure it in place with the nuts. Then you can remove the two nuts that are on top of these bolts. Now for the bracket that attaches to the floor. 
that just uses a 4mm Allen key. Wind the stud that's provided in the kit into the floor bracket and secure that down with the 13mm nut. With those two parts in place, you can slide your new battery only just in enough to put the negative terminal on and do that up and then slide the battery into its new home. Now for the tie down bracket itself, it's installed this way up so that catch is on the bottom against the battery. Slide it on the two bolts at the back first and then onto the big stud and install the nuts. With the battery secure, we can now put the positive terminal on and put the covers back on and reinstall the battery breather and make sure that battery is nice and secure. We've got power back and the pop-ups pop up and down again. So that's the G19 battery tie down with an 063 battery all installed. The link for that is in the description below. If this video helped you install your battery and save you money, let me know in the comments down below. Leave this video a like and subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one.